We talk about this and talk about that. Shut up, stop running out, let's talk about facts. Live a little, laugh a lot, let's have some fun. Listen to Gina, she'll tell you how it's done. Did you know? Good to know. What did you know? Well, now you know. Never know what's gonna happen on the No Filter Show. Loud and proud, funny and cool. Say what you're thinking, that's her only rule. The No Filter Show is brought to you by Boost Academy. Boost Academy is a smart school that prepares children, grades 4 through 12, for the modern world. Hi everybody, world. welcome to the No Filter Show with Gina Knowles. Today we have a busy lineup. So we have Lisa Snow. Which is, she talks about swimming, and you wouldn't believe how much people in this country can't swim. So I thought we had to bring her on. Shar Hansen, who's going to talk about education and uh, school preparedness coming up. And then we have my sister, Michelle Knowles, who is going to be here on behalf of Head Knowles. All right? So see you in a minute. The No Filter Show is proudly sponsored by Another Production, BAF Financial and Insurance, Battery and Tire Alignment Specialist, Bliss Wax Boutique, Blue Lagoon, Checkers Cafe, Dairy Queen, Live to Fish, Mesa Grill, Milo Butler and Sons, Pop Star Entertainment, Oasis Shopping, Boost Academy, Island Game, Sun Oil Limited, and Quality Home Center. Hi everybody, good afternoon. My name is Mitsunori Chikawa. Welcome to Latitude Restaurant. Today we prepare a machi jalapeno tiradito. On my dishes, I try to, to mix different flavors, spicy, sour, sweet, to make a aumami flavor. After put the hamachi in the plate, we need to season it with the Himalayan salt, a little pinch of black pepper. Then, to have a fresh flavor, we put uh, some To make a spicy flavor, we, just, we put a roaster jalapeno pepper. We use a special sauce, the name is jalapeno ponzu. It's a half part of the ponzu sauce and a half part of jalapeno dressing. And finally, we put a, some topping of the fried leek in each Hamachi slices. Here we are, okay? So, this is Hamachi spicy jalapeno. Welcome. Plan the best day of your life today. Check us out at www.live2.fish or on Facebook, Instagram, and TripAdvisor. Email us at info at live2.fish.
This segment is brought to you by Mesa Grill. Welcome back to the No Filter Show with me, Gina Knowles. And as promised, I have Lisa Snow here, and I'm going to let her know she's like Snow, like John Snow's sister. It's for all of y'all who want to know. Yeah, I got the hookup. So all of y'all, I'm going to let y'all know. Um, I brought her on because of the fact that I think there's a serious issue with those in the Bahamas who actually don't know to swim. And I don't think that we know exactly how many people in our country surrounded by water does not know how to swim. So this is like the master of all. And every time I see her and I find her on Facebook and all that, she's always doing these programs and helping out so much different people with learning to swim, which I think is fantastic. And I said I wanted to bring her on the show because she needs to get more exposure and get more people sponsoring her too, to help to get more people in this country to learn how to swim. So Lisa, welcome. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Thank you. And um, let everybody know who you are, what you do, and why you do what you do. Um, my name is Lisa and I've been teaching for 33 years. I'm a swim instructor, trainer, examiner. Uh, I took my training in Canada, so I have Red Cross, Life Saving Society, as well as Swim America and various others. Um, my passion today is to teach people how to swim, especially here. We have 84% of this country doesn't know how to swim. One in 10 kids learn to swim in school. 84% does not know how to swim, not can, does not, okay? And beyond that, we've had six drownings in the last month. And, um, Just, and sad, sadly, the numbers speak for themselves. One drowning in this country is one too many. We don't have a water safety message that goes out continuously, especially around long weekends. Uh, during the summer months, I taught for the ministry's uh, summer camp this year, and we were teaching upward of 300 kids a day. On how wow! That's just one camp, and we had six running over, overall. Oh. So the numbers are staggering, but it's the outreach communities that have the poorest exposure to swimming and the poorest exposure to water safety messages. Mm -hmm. Now, when you all do these camps, how do people find out about them? Unfortunately, there's not enough exposure for that either. It's stumbling upon them. So it is. It's luck of the draw. Luck of the draw. Of the draw. And how much does that cost? Some, the, but the majority of them are free. You know, and uh, the ministry's camp is free. The inner city outreach programs were free. They got sponsors to have my instructors train with them. So I had uh, nine instructors that were mobile and we did uh, programs at UB, we did them at the Betty K, we did them at Reach, which was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. those, are, those are where we learn to, where we need to learn to swim, where those are where we need to have the exposure for kids. Because you do see kids at the beach every weekend, and unfortunately, they're not being watched. Well, this is what I was saying, you know, I went to Montague the other day, and you have like, let's say 10 kids in the water. These ain't big kids, these little kids. And the parents or grandparents or aunts and uncles who are supposed to be watching them, they in the car, eating their food and on their phone. And I'm That's sitting it. there going, who watching? And then I had a conversation with one of the grandmothers who she said, well, I can't swim either. Exactly. And I'm sitting there going, so everybody could drown together. Uh, we did a pop-up last year at Eastern Point and I, taught, I, I approached 37 vehicles. And of the 37 vehicles, 36 of the people involved in the vehicles couldn't swim. And everybody's sitting in the car and the kids are swimming. Right. So we did impromptu swim lessons at the beach and it was so much fun. And after that, people were contacting me, asking me for swimming lessons. I got the adults swimming. I find that when you get kids swimming and you talk to the adults, they realize how important it is for them to learn to swim. And a lot of them are embarrassed. Yes. You know? and, and they say, oh yeah, I could swim. And they dig a little deeper. Well, okay, maybe I can't swim. Right, I can swim in three feet of water. <laughs> And you can drown in six inches. Yes, yes exactly. Yeah, exactly. Right. It's crazy. And then I sit down and I'm trying to figure out, you know, why our culture is so scared of the water. It, I feel like you are, uh, uh, the grandparents would be like, don't go in that water, you could drown. And it's because they don't know how to swim. So then they pass on That's the fear. fear. Yeah. So it's like, what do we do? So the, the main thing that we could do to help is just say, find you. Learn it, and you can't, don't be embarrassed, you can't swim. Like, I was so scared of my kids learning, uh, you know, because of the drama you do here. Like, there's a toddler walking by a pool, and you think that everybody's watching the kids, but nobody's watching, watching them. And it's because so much people are there that you assume that yeah. somebody's watching, and they walk, b -b 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 tumble in, and next thing you know, there's a, a dead kid. Yep. And, and it's and sad. Because drowning is silent, people don't realize. So, you know, you've got you've got a situation going down and everybody's watching everybody else, but nobody's seeing what's going on. So when you see somebody 
flailing, they're not necessarily drowning. It's the ones that aren't flailing are the ones that are drowning. Do you think that we should have lifeguards on all of our beaches? Absolutely. And does that happen? No. If you look at a country like Jamaica, and I'll give that as a good example, 3,000 lifeguards have been trained in the last five years. They have the most trained lifeguards in this hemisphere right now. And there's certain type of rules? Lots of rules. I mean, you have, it, we, as a, Bahamas is not a part of the life, International Lifeguarding Association. There's only three countries in the Caribbean. Jamaica, Trinidad, and Tobago, and um, St. Thomas are the only ones involved. However, there's standards. We have to attain those standards. If you don't know how to swim, it takes about two years to get through that process. So if you look at a guard start program, it's a two year process for somebody who doesn't know how to swim as an adult, 16 or greater, which is uh, all the international standards to be able to attain a 400 meter swim. We don't have those. We don't have those capabilities. We're lucky if the people that do know how to swim could swim 25 meters. Right, and I was thinking too. It's amazing how much if we had to dig deep. How many lifeguards who are lifeguards or PE teachers and teaching swimming? But you know where they are. They standing up on land, but they can't swim. And you have people who are scuba certified and they have all these all these credentials but yet they don't no, no. they if you drop them in the middle of the ocean they're gonna drown yeah. so i think that we need to start looking at that too because i can tell you that this prime example is the other day the doctor who went to give surgery on my daughter i asked him you know can i can you tell me about your credential and he looked at me almost like that's the first time somebody ever asked him that and i said dude because you went scrubs and have a stethoscope don't mean you could cut open my child exactly. and it's so the same you know it's just it's a lot that it freaks me out. So, uh, Lisa, I'd like to thank you for coming, but as well as please let everybody know what's the best way to find you. On Facebook at Waterproof242. That's very easy. Waterproof242 on Facebook. Name is Lisa Snow. And please, if you can't swim, go learn to swim. Yes. You know, my kids can swim before they could walk for the same reason. Thanks, Lisa, for coming. I appreciate it. Thanks. Boost Educational Services presents Boost Academy, a boutique smart school that prepares children in grades 4 through 12 for the modern world. Students will be held to international standards in their core subjects while also engaging in individualized learning pathways that play to their unique strengths and interests. Boost maintains a student-staff ratio of 1 to 8 and provides after-school clubs, classes, one-on-one -on -one tutoring, and social-emotional counseling support at no additional cost. Furthermore, students will enjoy weekly PE and swimming at Evolve Functional Fitness. Stepping away from the traditional model, Boost Academy aims to prepare your child for world citizenship by tackling topics such as human rights, the Constitution, financial literacy, and entrepreneurship. If you're a parent with uncompromising standards for education and you're seeking a holistic educational program, please reach out. Find us on the web at www.boostbahamas.com or email info at boostbahamas.com. Here's to all the early morning breakfasts. To the last minute surprises and a new friend for life. The year the sparks flew and we said, I do. Here's to the biggest table on the street when family and friends come together. Milo Butler, your neighborhood store, a family tradition. Summer, take off with Shell. Spend $20 or more in fuel and enter to win. You and a friend can experience Bruno Mars live in concert in Viva Las Vegas. Or relax in picturesque Harbor Island for the regatta. Or plan an exciting vacation for four to Orlando. Fuel up at your nearest Shell service station and you can also win thousands of dollars in free gas. Bahamas Air vouchers, super value gift certificates, or one of many new iPhones that will be given away this summer. So hurry into your favorite Shell location and enter to win. Like us on Facebook for more chances to take off with Shell. And win today. Hey. Hey, boo, what's up? Right, yeah. Uh, you still going to the event? Yeah, I ordered my dress right now. Let me call you back. Okay, good. Me too. This segment is brought to you by Battery and Tire Alignment Specialist.
Hi everybody, welcome back to the No Filter Show. So I'm here with Shaw Hansen, and she is a director of Boost Academy. And it's so funny because I've always known about Boost because it's a tutoring program. They've always done the tutoring for kids who need extra help. And then suddenly this year, Shaw pops up and says they're opening up a whole school. So I was like, are you crazy? But hey, I wanted to tell me what is making you, this is the first year and tell me why is this happening? Well, I have been working in education here for the past 10 years and one of the things that I've seen in the tutoring center is that so many students are going to these prestigious schools or they're in school eight hours a day, they're trying their best, but they're still struggling. They're still needing to come for after school tutoring. And so parents are paying school fee here, they're paying tutoring fee here, they're trying to do what they want, you know, what What's they think is best for their, for, kids. for their kids. And we actually have had a gr great success with working with homeschool students over the last few years. So by building up our homeschool students and seeing the achievement in those areas and recognizing the need for a school that really addresses the holistic needs of students including you know not just academic but the social emotional issues that they may be so experiencing basically we wanted to incorporate that all into one institution it's basically the school that I wish I had had when I was a child Good. it's the school I want for my daughter when she grows up and so we're just trying to develop that modern institution that is kind of following more the model of what schools in Finland or you know in, okay. in Scandinavia so tell are doing. me tell me what they do is it online is it on the computer is it in books so we do have an online component of the school but it's not exclusive to that so the online program is not the be all end all mm -hmm. of what they do uh, we incorporate project based learning we have small group classes and we have how whole, many in the class, class activities. it's a 1 to 8 stu staff student ratio wow mm -hmm. uh, Good. we aim to keep that very small we've made that promise to parents and uh, so even within the classroom space you wouldn't have more than 16 students within that class right and if there are 16 there's two teachers in there with them so okay uh, so basically by keeping those class sizes small by really developing the rapport with students and incorporating the mindfulness component we're really trying to build them up to give them the confidence to give them the tools that they need to have that growth mindset right because I would say the majority of the students who have come to me for after-school tutoring it's not because they can't do it it's not anything to do with their actual ability or intelligence it's that somewhere along the line they might have missed a fundamental step or they've kind of had some gaps to sometimes fill in. you just don't get it and then they you need everything person. builds on that so when you have a shaky foundation everything else is going to crumble right my daughter Especially does not know algebra and she refuses to learn it and she thinks it's the stupidest thing ever and I'm with her too I have, I have another question yes. now are you going to continue doing tutoring Yes, we are. Okay. So Boost Educational Services will still exist in its current format. We do have an after-school homework help component. We have weekend tutoring. We have one-on-one, -on -one, and we have small group classes as well. Okay. There's a lot so. going on. Yes. And you just had a baby. Are you on crack? <laughs> You plan to do all this in September. Yeah. You know what? I'm just so grateful for my support system. We yes, have a, we have a great staff. We ha I have a great family. We have a great team. Um, so many wonderful people in the making of this. Um, I mean, it really is a community effort. Good. So, as an educator, tell me some things that the we should advise our parents on now. Back to school preparedness that's happening in what three weeks. What should they be doing right now at this moment to, that the kids have been fooling around all summer? Please start weaning them off of video games. Please start weaning them off of Fortnite. I don't know if there's some new Fortnite dances coming out this year or, yeah. <laughs> or, or what the new thing is, if it's bottle flipping or, you know, the fidget spinners. We, we right. never know what the new trend is going to be this year. But, uh, but do start getting them back into those routines so that they're not up till 2 a.m. and sleeping in till 11 because then on the first day back everybody's that. kind of trying to pay attention that they're right because <laughs> they're used to now sleep until noon yes and one o'clock and it, it's, it's funny because if they're home with Grammy or the housekeeper or whatever then in a way it's good when they sleep till noon because you ain't bothering me 
But the problem is when it's time to get back to school, and then you know what too? The eating the junk. Yes. And you know, so getting them back into that routine. But I know that's the main thing that everybody who I spoke to was like, get them off the video games <laughs> because they're on it all day. Yeah. So with my kids, I've now put the timer on the internet. Mm -hmm. And it was so funny. They're like, what happened to the internet? And then you got BPL cutting them off anyway. <laughs> You know, <laughs> so they're like, mommy, if BPL turns off, then that shouldn't cut into our internet time. I'm like, no, 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 you're going to get back on the routine. Yes. So it's really funny. But I want to come down to the school and look at it and see what's happening because really, it's really exciting. And um, I know people who have actually spoke about it. And um, hopefully you could teach my daughter some algebra. <laughs> that would be great. And what ages? Uh, it's grades four through twelve. Right, I know that was important. Mm -hmm. So not she, she's pretty smart. But she starts at grade four <laughs> through twelve, and she's on Montrose Avenue, right to the break of the hill up on the right. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna go visit, and I'm gonna let you all know. But Shaw, thank you so much for coming. I wish you great success. And if they want to get in touch with you, tell them your website and uh, www.boostbahamas.com or info at boostbahamas.com. Right there, and we're gonna put it on the screen. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. I appreciate it. An incident quality home center. You will see the segments from when you enter. Your one stop department store with so much niceness. Friendly staff, great atmosphere, low prices. They got brand name appliances, furniture, hardware, electronics, home decor, toys and apparel. Shop and save. There's no need. Shop at the quality home center. Home center, spend less and live better. With Trio, you can get everything and more, like our phone. You get features like caller ID, call waiting, call forwarding, and a bunch of others like <coughs> virtual number. So you can now call friends and family abroad as a local call, all for free. Just call 601-2200 and tell them that you want Trio TV, phone, internet for $99. Powered by Rev. You and us together. This segment is brought to you by Milo Butler and Sons. Hi everybody, we're back to the No Filter Show and it's time for our Head Nold segment. And guess who I have here with me today? Not only is she an HK admin, but she's my sister, Michelle. Welcome, Michelle. Hi. I'm not calling you your nickname because everybody in the whole country go on call you that. You know what? I know I get jealous. It's true. So I'm not even gonna say it. And today her name is Michelle. Boom. <laughs> I'm not letting you know her nickname. So Michelle, welcome. Thanks. You did not come last season. I did not. Because you're a freak. Yeah. And I gotta let everybody know that. <laughs> she make it seem like her, her life's so busy for her big sister. Honestly, I was ducking. Stink. <laughs> she stink. So now she's here. <laughs> so Michelle, what are we gonna talk about today? First of all, tell me what do you think your, your little role is as an admin? You are the baby? I am. Are you what Ashley is? No, it's me. I think, I think Ashley is older. Okay, so <laughs> you're the baby admin. And I am mostly behind the scenes. I don't. I'm very silent. I'm I'm the silent sleeper. That's what you like to call me. Yes. <laughs> she. She. You never see her post nothing, but she's be right there. Delete. Mm, she's delete. Yeah. <laughs> I know. No. No. And sometimes she'll be like, "Is this allowed?" And she puts it in our little group. So yeah, she's used pay attention sometimes. But I still, uh, you know, these young people, they're the ones who are the techie ones. So they have to guide us and tell us. Oh, well, if you know, if you click here, this could happen. Which, so she teaches us. That's what I feel. I use her for everything like that. Right? Yeah, mostly. <laughs> so um, w w when it comes to what happened as of late on HK, what do you think is uh, the biggest trend or the thread that's funniest or what grabs you? <laughs> the post that you put up with BPL and you put up a picture. Yeah. <laughs> when they... When I got slammed on my own page. Yeah. So for those of you who don't know, I decided, uh, you know, I put up, I thought it was so funny. And I put up as the, what do you call that? The, the cover, the cover photo. The cover photo. I put, um, BPL is going to set some of you insane. It's cheaper to get a generator than to pay for a therapist. And I stole that from Neil. Okay. So Neil is the one who got me in this hole. Let me put that straight. 
<laughs> and I got slammed. Like everybody was, oh, you must take a bias generator. And, da, 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 da. and only you got me. I was like, well, my dose. Well, it's because because BPL has everybody very tense right now. <laughs> It's 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 a very tense situation. Well, I was trying to lighten up the moment, you know, Gina, change the mood. Light and BPL don't go in the same sentence <laughs> these days. <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> Man. And not everybody gets your sense of humor because remember, HK, most of HK, HK don't know you personally. So they don't know the sense of humor. Yeah, I thought it, so was, it, it, wouldn't, it was funny. It wouldn't trans. Because I know the sense of humor, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was like, well, what those? Yeah, that was big. And I, listen, today I still get slammed. I didn't delete it. Guess what? Because <laughs> I'm on enough. I'll take the beating. But I was like, wow. And then I said, y'all don't have to be so hostile. And they was like, in this heat, you got to be hostile. I was getting See, chewed. Exactly. I'd be hostile too. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think even it was so funny because Erica line came inside the HK admins and she said, Gina threw a rock and then ran away. <laughs> and I was like, what happened? And then she started telling me, she was like, go back to the thread. And a matter of seconds, it was like a, brrr, a lot of people just beating up Gina. And I was only trying to make a joke. because I thought it was funny. It's okay. Neil, I got your joke. <laughs> Nobody else got mine. <laughs> I'm not doing that anymore. I'm not copying anything that Neil says again. Kim? Deal with your husband, because I in trouble. <laughs> so, me, sh Michelle, shoots. They did, now, now everybody knows uh, it. We're going to cut that. Uh, <laughs> what do you, who do you think is the meanest admin? Oh, I wouldn't say meanest, but definitely, um, I don't want, I don't know what the word would be that I would use, but I guess it would translate to mean would be Erica. But I love it. Because she doesn't take anybody's garbage. She doesn't. She, yeah, she's like zero tolerance. She's like a principal. Yes, and I absolutely love it because anybody could say anything they want, and she will respond right back. And if if she doesn't feel like responding, okay, I don't like. I don't. I don't. This this way isn't what you're saying. Doesn't make any sense. I'm just leaving you alone. Right. So I'm just walking away. Yeah. Yeah. She, so this is Erica Lang. Watkins Belang, by the way, <laughs> not the next Erica. Um, and what do you like the most about being an admin and least? The mo what do I like the most about being an admin? I guess just seeing, you know, learning about what's going on behind the scenes, being involved in the outreach efforts, um, all of those types of stuff. And then the worst is when people come and inbox you for HK things, like, oh, hey, my post was deleted. I don't know why. Okay, did your post follow the rules? <laughs> That's true. Do you get a lot of those? I get those Some, a lot. Sometimes, yeah. Yeah, I get them all. Sometimes I always tell them, go to the other admins. <laughs> I've actually had people, like, randomly inbox me and say, hey, I'm trying to get added to the group. Yes. Can you add me? Yes. And that, that, that's most of what my stuff is. I feel like you're going through 2,000 people to find your one application. Yeah. I, how about this? Do you think that we should go public? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because we have such a hard time already just like going through, you know, people who have fake profiles, businesses, you know, people who are supposed to follow the guidelines of the group that aren't and, you know, trying to weed those out, trying to weed out anybody that's, you know, more hostile towards other members of the group. And going public would just make that that much harder. And uh, as an admin, wouldn't you say that, you know how a lot of people think for some reason as admins that we're bougie and we strict and we like to have this wand to delete people, but they don't understand it's hard, hey, what we go through. It is because then there are times where you're like, okay, should I delete this? Is this something that needs to be deleted? Um, do This is a good conversation starter, yes, but does it belong in the group? Right. I know. So it gets, it, it, many times and then they'll be like, why did you delete this? And it's like, it's not relevant. Yeah. We don't need that. And then some people get mad because they feel like it's always complaints. And then some people get mad when I go and I say something good happened to me at Battery and Tire. Oh, why yeah. do we need to know about that? It's like, you get mad because everybody complaining. And now you get mad that I put in a compliment. And that's the whole point of the group is the referrals. I just feel like you can't win for losing. You can't win for losing. <laughs> it, and you're dealing with 24,000 personalities. And I wish that they would understand 
our goal and what, what we're about. So Honestly. Uh, I, I hope everybody's listening and understand we're not the bougie ones. It's just that when other people go and break the rules and we have to follow the rules and I even break the rules and then I get in trouble and the admins jump on and they cuss me. I let y'all know. Gina, what are you doing? Yes, they do it. You they, can't you, you can't say, okay, we can't do this and then you go and do it. Yes. <laughs> so I'm letting y'all know. It's hard. So me, Michelle, thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate it. And I hope I see you next season. I don't want no garbage. She, you did it. Yes, mom. Look, look at her. She's in front of a camera. Look at me, guys. With makeup. <laughs> My little sister, <laughs> Michelle Knowles. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Thanks for coming, honey. I love you. Love you, too. With Trio, you can get everything and more, like our internet. We're taking you from 50 megabits per second download speed to 75 megabits per second. We've gone from blazing to, what's a good adjective? Breakneck, blistering speed. You're getting a 150% speed increase than if you got into that alone. Just call 601-2200 and tell them that you want Trio TV, phone, internet for $99. Powered by Rev. You and us together. The No Filter Show is proudly sponsored by Another Production, BAF Financial and Insurance, Battery and Tire Alignment Specialist, Bliss Wax Boutique, Blue Lagoon, Checkers Cafe, Dairy Queen, Live to Fish, Mesa Grill, Milo Butler and Sons, Pop Star Entertainment, Oasis Shopping, Boost Academy, Island Game, Sun Oil Limited, and Quality Home Center. So, everybody, welcome back to No Filter. My little vent piece. I, I don't know if you call it a vent or I just want to let you all know, I had a great idea. Let me know what you all think if this is going to work. My brother said it's not going to work. So BPL turns off your electricity for three hours a day. Three to five. Some people have been 12. I know. Anyway, I've been like three to five. This is what I was thinking. Because they're load shedding, because the transformer, transponder, whatever it's called, it can't hold everybody's electricity, right? Suppose I took it upon myself to turn off all of my breakers for three hours out of the day. Isn't that genius? And then I get gave back. So I get to choose when I want it off. Like my brother was like, no, you'll do it. But it ain't nobody else. Because everybody else would be like, well, Gina went off. I could turn my own on. But I thought that would have been great. I thought, why, can why can't we do that? We're going to work on that. That was my great idea. I'm going to ask. Quincy, let me know. I think. And then I want some sort of royalties for that idea. Because then I could control. Right, Ash? You with me? I can control, I'm going out for three hours, I'm going to turn off my breakers. And then I did my portion to help the country. I mean, besides, I already had the solar idea and all these other ideas, but I'm just trying to work with them with their little load shedding idea. Okay, have a good day. Bye. Promotional consideration provided by Oasis Shopping and Quality Home Center.